Hello everyone and welcome to a new full completion summary episode for the new Atom 37. This week you can get the McLaren Speedtail for 80% completion besides the usual wheel spins and some other returning cars. All the details and time slots for each event and PR stunt are in the video description, while any tune can be found by my gamer tag. For any questions feel free to leave a comment or join the Discord server. And if you'd like and haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more Horizon 4 and other car games content. This week we're starting from 21%, first 6 from Rivals for completing a clean lap that means no exclamation mark next to your name at the end, and another 15% from completing a ranked adventure championship which is unlocked on reaching level 3 adventure by playing the standard type. You don't need to win and this can be done once per series and will apply to all 4 seasons, no matter the season they are completed in. Do them in summer like I did and they will be completed for the other 3 seasons as well. Next, an easy photo challenge. For 3% light up my Lambo, which requires you to take a picture of any Lamborghini with the lighthouse north of Bamberg. It doesn't even has to be yours, so it is that easy. For 15% this week's Forzaton, long tons of fun. You'll need an extreme off-road vehicle. There are many you can choose from, but the Toyota Arctic trucks are among the cheapest in the auto show. Second win 3 cross country series events. This can be standard or blueprints, as well as circuit or sprint since it doesn't mention. Third, earn 20 wreckage skills. This can be completed pretty much anywhere, just drive around hitting stuff and you'll jump soon to the next chapter. Fourth, earn 9 stars in total from danger signs. I find the Broadway danger sign among the easiest, but then again as long as you can get at least 1 star per run, you'll get it. For instance, I got to every run, so had to jump 5 times over the Assassin's Creed Church. Once done, the 200 Forzaton points of this week are yours if you also own the Lake Lodge house along with the 15%. Regarding the Forzaton shop, we have the AMG Hammer for 2.99 and the Hoonigan RS200 which will help you with any off-road PR stunt for only 101 Dalmatians. It is also available in the backstage. In the backstage, the Chevelle took the win from the past week vote. And this week you can vote for the Mercedes GT and the Mini Countryman. I guess I know what everyone is going to vote for. For the Super 7, for the first 7 challenges successful completion, you can get the McLaren F1 GT for free. Time to team up for the trial, Lamb Chop Chop 800 Lambos for the Miura. But first, let's see a BMW driver in action. Despite the scuffed Lambo, another easy trial as always, with the right team and a decent car. The only real fight during these races was among us, the teammates, since the drive avatars were so easy to pass anyway. It was a really beautiful race with a bit of taunting here and there. Regarding the car, my pick was the Auto Show Diablo, with no fancy tuning, just better brakes and better and wider tires to match the maximum performance rating.
Next we have a frustrating remix, Forest Sprite. Not much to showcase here, just do be careful which tree you bring back home. With that you would have unlocked the 15% Atom reward. Next Atom Games 800 Super Saloons for the old E63 and another 6%. Since you no longer have to win the games to get the reward, it doesn't really matter what you pick. Just play till the end and you'll get the reward for finishing second too, which is the least you can actually with only two teams in the play. So just make sure not to rage quit like most of the rival team did, if you want the percentage and the gold. Moving on, this week's PR stunts for about 6% each. Bumber Castle Danger Sign, 705.4 feet or 215 meters. Any faster car will do just fine here. I'd recommend to clear up the area a bit before you start. Then just start from a bit further away and keep the rewind feature close, as you'll probably need it to avoid those cornering walls. Doing like so, my El Camino got it on the first try with a rewind. Walkwood Crest Speed Trap, 205 miles per hour or 329.9 kilometers. Same goes for this one. You'll need a bit of grip and lots of power. Got it easily with a Supra. Lakeshore Speed Zone, 100 miles per hour or 160.9 kilometers. Dirt speed zones sure look scary. Stop using those Lambos and other supercars in the off-road. If a cheap auto show Ford Bronco only tuned to S1 can do it, then you probably want to skip those low riders with something that has a better ground clearance. At least fit some rally tires and suspension. You have arrived at your destination. Now, the three weekly championships against at least highly skilled drive avatars to get all the rewards. We are doing them against pro and unbeatable, so you should do just fine on lower difficulties if these are troublesome. Silence of the Lamborghinis, S1 Lambos Street Scene, for the 16 Aventador. The only championship for which I actually had a tuned car today. The same old auto show Lambo, Huracan that I usually use in this class, available to everyone. One of the cars that I've tuned in the first months of the game and haven't changed it since. Completing one of the three championships gets you over 80%. Next, get Hyper, S2 Hypercars for the Veneno. Oh dear me, no tuned cars, got whatever had a higher performance rating so Lego Chiron it is. Just too much power for some Lego wheels that can barely provide some grip. But don't worry, as all the championships can be completed using stock cars in solo, easily, as the drive avatars will be configured based on your car performance and select a difficulty every single time. And lastly, Modern Age, C600 Modern Sports Cars for the Porsche 718 GTS. Again, don't get fooled by my exterior tuned car, it's just that, exterior. Everything stock under the bonnet, unfortunately. But I guess it went rather decent despite this anyway. You might do even better with a cheap tuned Mazda. Just remember that you only need to win this against at least highly skilled drive avatars for all the rewards, so it should be even easier than shown. And that kinda does it with the championships too. 
Thanks to everyone for participating tonight as every week. Fun, quick and easy weekly completion. With that we are to at least 93%. For the daily challenges. First, three great drift skills. Just slide for a little longer. Second, drive for a total of 5 miles. Speaks for itself. Third, earn 4 stars from Danger Signs, same as it was for the Forzaton. Fourth, 2 near miss kills, closely pass traffic cars with some speed. Fifth, 2 awesome speed skills, drive faster until you get it. Sixth, win 2 point to point cross country events, that is sprint cross country so no laps. And 7th, one drafting skill for which all you need to do is stay behind the drive avatar for a little while. For another 100% completion, this time for the new Series 37 Atom. Just know that one daily opens every day and each is available for only 70 hours. Hope you've enjoyed the new episode. For any questions or discussions, feel free to use the comment section below or the Discord server. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Forza Weekly content. For any additional details regarding the events, they are also available in the video description. The following week we'll have Winter 37, which brings back some cool cars like the Velociraptor and the 19 GT3 RS. Besides the two SUV seasonal completion rewards, the Velar and the Gladiator. But till then, thanks for watching and have fun racing.